Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy time zone and happy cozy season. <laughs> We've officially reached the best months of the year, in my opinion. <laughs> um, it is gloomy outside. I have my pumpkin spice latte while I'm filming this voiceover. I think it's, it, it, it's all starting to come together. <laughs> but no, seriously, I have been in such a creative slump these past few months and I'm just I'm raring and ready to go I am feeling myself I'm feeling the elements and I I hope you guys enjoy the setup as always <laughs> So this month I really just wanted to channel the sweater weather that we are currently not having <laughs> where I am right now. Um, California has been extremely hot for months now and all I want to do is just wear my hoodies, my sweaters, they are collecting dust and I hate it. <laughs> So I decided to try to make this month spread as cozy as possible to vicariously live my cozy season needs because I am tired of waiting. <laughs> Starting off the plan with me's as always by working on the cover pages. So I decided to essentially cut out like half of a knitted sweater and uh, to make like the title page. And then on the other side is essentially like a mood board with a to-do list, nothing super crazy. I also went pretty neutral um, in terms of color palette. I normally kind of kick up the warm tones in my spreads, but I was just really feeling the neutral vibes this month. To color in the sweater, I used some Ahuhu markers that I have. I swatched them beforehand. I can put on the screen somewhere the colors that I used. Um, I don't really use alcohol markers that often, so I was really excited to kind of get to use it here because there was like this double layer of paper that I knew wouldn't bleed through to the other side. And I figured this was a pretty quick way to fill in the entire thing. Um, and I think it turned out pretty cool. Also, random side note, I am 100% convinced that at-home coffee does not taste as good as coffee that you buy from like a coffee shop. I'm currently drinking the pumpkin spice Starbucks like Keurig pods and it just doesn't taste as good as a PSL from Starbucks. Granted, to be fair, I prefer the pumpkin cream cold brews to the pumpkin spice lattes but i don't know at least for me the at-home coffee never tastes as good maybe i just need to become more of a coffee connoisseur and to learn how to make better coffee at home but I, I think i just wanted to share my current thought process as i'm drinking my coffee because it just doesn't taste the same and it really makes me want a cold brew <laughs> But I usually only have one cup of coffee a day. To be honest, I don't really feel the effects of caffeine. At least I don't think I do. I 100% drink coffee for the comfort that it gives. I just feel so at peace and so in my element when I'm starting off my morning with a cup of coffee. Although I have to say I do prefer iced coffee though. Like even if it's freezing cold not like that really happens often here <laughs> but i prefer iced coffee like 90 percent of the time when i don't have that the keurig comes on so uh yeah coffee ran over just thought i'd share that but i'd love to know if you prefer i mean we, obviously we know that it's much more cost effective to make coffee at home but I kind of want to know what everyone prefers. So yeah, let me know.
Alrighty, before moving on to the next spreads, I kind of just wanted to add more definition to the sweater, so I went in with the darkest Ahuhu marker that I had uh, saved up for this spread, and I think it looks way better, really pops. I love how the cover pages turned out. Moving on to the next spread, I have a lot going on this month, so I decided to dedicate an entire page to a gigantic calendar. <laughs> Sometimes these calendars are super helpful. Most of the time I don't uh, do a spread like this, but it felt necessary to kind of just organize all my thoughts and everything I have to do into one page. So that is what I did. Also, I decided not to include the 20 minutes that it took for me just to figure out the dimensions for this calendar. I felt like that would probably be too painful to watch, so here is the finished product. It definitely only took me one try to get it right. <laughs> Alrighty, next up I decided to make a gratitude daily tracker for really no reason in particular. Sometimes I just like doing these kind of like one-off tracker pages um, and it is also really nice to kind of reflect every day and think about what you were grateful for for those, you know, 24 hours. Well, I guess it's more like 12 hours or however long you weren't asleep, but maybe you could be grateful for getting like 12 hours of sleep and there you go, you know? <laughs> Okay, moving on to the final two spreads in this monthly plan with me. This is definitely the mood tracker spread and not a secondary mood board spread because I definitely didn't mess up this page entirely and needed to cover up said mistakes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, essentially this page did not end up being a mood tracker. As you can see, I kind of wanted to do like that circular mood tracking situation and then have these flowers kind of coming through it but when i went into ink over the pencil line art <laughs> uh i totally messed it up and i didn't like think to leave gaps for the circular mood tracking part i just totally drew over them I think I was just like so in my element. I was listening to a book and I was not paying attention. And then I realized, I realized by this point that I had messed up, <laughs> but 
but I still really wanted to include this flower element, but I just ended up essentially getting rid of the mood tracking element entirely and making it into a secondary mood board, like I said earlier. So then on the other page, I don't know why I went from right to left. I don't know why I started on, I was kind of all over the place, clearly with this one page. Um, but on the adjacent page, I ended up combining the habit and mood trackers into one. So, you know, sometimes things don't turn out how you want and you just have to find ways to work around them. Uh, like this sticker that I definitely placed crooked and only realized it at this point. Surely that must have been driving all of you mad. I realized it when I was editing and I was like, oh my god, please tell me that I fixed it at some point. And I did. So, there you go. Alrighty, we are now working on the final page for the setup. I decided to combine the mood tracker with the habit tracker because I had messed up the previous page and I didn't really want to... This video was already late and I didn't really want to make an entirely new mood tracking spread. So I just decided to keep it short and sweet and do like a grid style tracker which is the complete opposite of what I wanted to do initially, but it ended up working out. I also wasn't a huge fan of the plain white squares, so I decided to cut up these teeny tiny little squares and paste them inside said squares. Uh, I added the numbers on top, and that is pretty much the entire mood tracker. Pretty simple, kind of made a little bit more work for myself by adding in these tiny squares, um, but I, I think it looks a lot better than just the, the plain white ones. For this month's habit tracker, I only did two, and I used this small grid paper that I get from Plant by Jyla. Wrote out all the numbers. God, this is always so tedious, which is why I love the pre-made calendars, because I don't have to spend the time making these individual calendars, but I only needed to do two, so it wasn't too big of a deal. Um, and then I just pasted it into the bottom, and that is the finished tracker spread.
Alrighty friends, here is the final flip through for my September plan with me, inspired by cozy, sweater, weather, neutral, comfy, <laughs> all the vibes. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed. I also wanted to show you how thick my bullet journal currently is. I have quite a few pages left, which gives me peace of mind. Um, so I know I won't run out of pages for the rest of the year and I'll have enough for any end of the year spreads that I decide to do. If you wanna see these spreads in detail, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I post all of my spreads on there as often as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video, whenever that shall be. Sooner rather than later, hopefully. <laughs> Bye.